So another part of breakfast that I like to make is cold soak oats. So we'll start with our regular oats. We're not going to use anything from the package. Just going to use regular old fashioned oats. You can also get rolled oats and steel cut oats. They have a little bit of a different flavor, but they're really good for you as well. So what I have on hand right now is just regular old fashioned oats. So you need about a half a cup of those. I'm going to make two different types. So you're going to see me put these in two different bowls. There's one. And the other. All right, for this type, we're going to use blueberries, honey, and cinnamon. So I like to put just a little sprinkle of cinnamon on top of the oats. And I'll kind of leave it up to you. I like cinnamon because it gives it extra flavor. I do not add sugar. That is an acquired taste. It took me a little bit to get used to that. But the honey does kind of substitute for the lack of sugar. So just a little bit. Try to make sure that you get 100% US grade A raw and unfiltered honey if you can. So I'm just going to make one circle around the bowl to each of these actually. Not very much. I very rarely measure anything, you'll find. But I am going to get a quarter cup of frozen blueberries. And I like to get frozen blueberries because, for one, they last a lot longer and they're more cost effective. So for this one, we've got our blueberries in there. And then I use unsweetened almond milk. I don't get anything with flavor. You can buy the vanilla almond milk, but I just buy the unsweetened because I use this for so much other stuff and I don't want vanilla flavored stuff like in our mashed potatoes and things like that. So I just get this one on hand. You're only gonna pour enough in there to cover your oats. So you can put just a little bit more if you want. I don't like a lot of soupiness in my oatmeal. I'm also going to add some chia seeds. These will give you a little bit of protein. They also kind of swell up in your stomach and help you like stay fuller. And they will expand in your milk as they soak overnight. So don't be afraid to use these. Just carry some floss around and check yourself in the mirror because they do get stuck in your teeth. I'm just gonna barely swirl this around in the bowl and then cover it up and you put it in the refrigerator and let it soak. So for the other one, I'm gonna do apple cinnamon and honey and I'm not gonna put any chia seeds in this one just because I think um, apple cinnamon and honey is just really good together. So I've already got some apple peeled. So I'm just gonna cut a few different pieces of apple up right on top of my cinnamon and my oats and my honey and then just pour enough almond milk to saturate your oats and cover them again if you just like regular oatmeal kind of thick you don't want to put as much milk in there if you do like to have a little bit of liquid then you can put a little bit more just shake the bowl around and you'll cover it up. I also like to have a side of raw almonds, not salted, just whole natural. If you have any of these little sauce cups at home, just reach in, fill it almost to the top, and that should be about a serving. And then I just leave this on the counter so I can grab it and throw it into my lunch bag the next day. Uh, we just set these in the refrigerator and overnight the oats will soak up your milk. The chia seeds will also expand in the liquid. So they, you don't heat them up, you just eat them cold. If you want to heat them, I guess that's okay, but you need to put a little bit more liquid in there because it will soak up as it heats. So super quick, super easy, lots of fuel, and it keeps you full for a couple of hours.